Hello there, welcome back to uh, Tunisia and the Sons of Carthage. Last time I declared war on Spain, which ended up in a horrible war against the Portuguese here, where I'm currently being uh, trashed uh, all kinds of directions, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we're going to, of course, run away here. The, I destroyed one of their armies, but it turned out they had another one. A uh, meaner, scarier one, so... Things could probably turn out pretty nasty here if I do not get uh, this army rebuilt or reboosted or whatever you want to call it rather quickly here. The Spanish army is still stuck in uh, Italy, which is of course wonderful. But all in all, things are not looking too good for my conquest here. I definitely need Ottoman forces to land on, on the soil if I want to win, uh, which I see as very unlikely. Portugal also of course have a general, dream general, 5-5. Five, five. So, uh, things are looking bad here, but luckily enough, I did get one modifier for, uh, well, terrain. And that might actually be helpful here, but I might lose this second battle, which would be annoying as hell. Um, problem, manpower, definitely a problem. And I don't, can't really move my troops back home, but I don't think I have much of a choice here. Now, the Portuguese uh, navy is apparently leaving because it has uh, other matters to attend to. But... Uh, yeah, I think we need to uh, just retrieve my army before it is completely destroyed and leave everything here in the mean hands of the of the Portuguese. Uh, it doesn't seem like I have too much of an option in, in, in said matter. And of course we'll be aiming at steering clear of that Portuguese uh, Portuguese fleet, if, if, I, if I may be so bold to suggest that being a good idea. Uh, I think we might actually keep this army here. No, we will not. It's it's mainly cannons, which means that it will p perform horribly in battle, and sooner rather than later end up being just slaughtered. So you're all coming home with me, and we're going to rebuild you, make you faster, stronger, everything. Uh, manpower is going to lack for a while here. That's just going to be the facts. And it seems like the Spanish are starting to get some ships up and running too, but most of their fleet, most of their army is still stuck here. Uh, anyways, again, I'll just have to allow my forces to be uh, uh, rebooted, if you will. We'll get rid of these uh, mercenaries, a little bit less to pay for. And since my fleet and army will most likely not be used for a while, we're just going to go down on both of them. Uh, because I, I need to save the money. I can't take a hundred loans. Well, I could, but it would really destroy my nation. Now, the main goal now will just be to wait it out. Uh, Portugal will not be getting any individual war score, as far as I know. So, as long as I wait here, I should be able to piece them out. They have a little bit, due to the blockades, as you can see. So, as long as I wait this out, I should be able to piece out Portugal, then I can go back to Spain and... Did I forget someone? Apparently I did. And where are you going to run to? You're going to run to Almeria, and then you're going to get killed. Yep. So, let's just see here. Seven, uh, eight... I lost almost one whole army since I didn't have the time to get them out, but that's just how it is. I need to get, again, I just need to get Portugal out of this one, then I can laugh, uh, then I can laugh at Spain. So, for the time being, the plan will be very, very simple. We'll just wait it out. There's not much, there's not much else I can do. Uh, Spain will still be stuck in Italy, most likely. Can't really see them getting into this in one way or another. Now, this could be interesting. Call to arms. Venice has a truce with Spain. Well, I guess that, I guess that makes sense. But uh, basically, if this truce or my war lasts long, longer than truce, I could, in theory, call them back in in 21, provided that the war lasts that long. But yeah, if I get Portugal out of this, then it should be fine. There's basically one nation always protecting Spain, so they are actually fairly weak, all things considered. Now that's something I did not like to see, the uh, fleet being uh, being trashed. We lost Sign of Mercia, of course, but Sign, what the hell. Uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying here, uh, the fact that the Spanish fleet has started to actually grow, and also beating the uh, current defender of the strait, that's not good at all. So I'll be again waiting for Portugal to uh, to give up. Now if I end up in a position where basically my homeland is under attack, or they get onto Palermo, I'll show you, but other than that I think I'll just keep things uh, more or less quiet, and we'll see how this uh, works out for us. There we go, Portugal changed their mind rather rapidly here. Boom! Portugal out! Vengeance incoming, if I may be so bold. Uh, but yeah, we're going to drop our forces now. Unfortunately, they are weakened, but it's not really... It couldn't be much else of a choice. I'm probably going to take some loans here for the sieging, uh, if, you, if that makes sense. 
and hopefully we can actually pull it off. So let's just get our troops over to uh, mainland Spain, and uh, hopefully we can get some revenge. I'll also start hunting the Spanish fleets wherever I may find them, and we'll of course also be blocking the strait with, uh, I think, the galleys, because they will be doing a good job there. Now, the rest of this doesn't have, actually have any fleet that warrants defense. Heck, I don't even need to send the galleys there. I can just do with the uh, flutes. They are strong enough for that mission. And we're also then going to split this uh, fleet here, or the fleets, up into sieging divisions or blockade divisions, if you will. And we'll keep the entire, well, area under blockade to prevent any building of any fleets. So let's just go straight onto sieging, which is our main goal here. We just need to destroy the Spanish army so it can't actually become a well, nuisance during my during my work. I'll probably go to Andalusia, which is actually one of the problems that I need. So, uh, it's perfect. But I'm going to lose some troops going there, and as you can see, my manpower is actually getting quite low, which is not to say it's uh, it's not positive at all. There we go. Let's just keep on setting up sieges everywhere. So yeah, the goal here will definitely be to now just try and keep things uh, keep things under control, keep Spain at uh, in a death grip, if you will, and hopefully I can actually uh, actually get something done. Th those two five thousand men troops will go the same way. These guys will come and aid, so it should be it should be a straightforward victory. Yes, with complete destruction. That's how I like it. And of course, as these armies actually end up reinforcing, I'm just going to keep on spreading them out even more. So, uh, we should be able to see all of Spain rather soon. Although, I think what I'm actually going to do is use these guys as a... Yeah, we're going to need a hunting squad. Basically, there's too many... Uh, if, if they manage to rebuild their armies, things are going to get quite nasty quite fast. And that is kind of what I want to prevent right now. So we'll be going for doing said <laughs> said uh, thing. As you can see, they actually do have war. Uh, what the hell is it called? They do have military access in in France, and that is that is not good. That is scary. So I need to do. I need to keep an eye on that. But hopefully, again, I'll be able to uh, to just keep them at bay while we're sieging. So I think I'll just give up the siege of Madrid to help them out here. Can't get there in time. Yeah, I can. Uh, apparently, yeah, they're doing an incredible work on my on my soldiers here. Just that 4,000 men army. I might have to lift some more sieges here to to make this work. They're actually still attacking Cáceres. No, they changed their mind there. Good. Uh, but anyways, I just have to try and keep them at bay. I don't think there's too much else I can do. They do have one hell of a morale uh, boost on me. It's just 0 0.4 though. Are they at level 17? Yeah, they have a military tank advantage on me. Which is currently why I'm losing as bad as I am. But this means that their manpower doesn't actually matter that much during this war. I think I might have to go for making a 10,000 or so mercenary army that is going to cost me, well, everything from here to hell. But I think they might be necessary just to keep... Uh, just to help keep them at bay, so we're going to do just that. Well, apparently we're just going to make a 7,000 member mercenary army, but it's going to do the same the same thing as, uh, well, it otherwise would. So hopefully here yeah, this will actually pay off uh, in terms of uh, keeping everyone at bay. And it seems like Spain doesn't actually care right now. The AI has got themselves stuck on an island, and they can't handle it. Now, luckily enough here, it seems like the Ottomans did a good job of destroying that army which is hilariously wonderful. So, we'll just, again, keep on just splitting up the armies that we can split, and we'll set them up as siege squads ever, uh, elsewhere. So, we'll just keep on going here, but uh, I think this way will probably, unless uh, Venice now decides to backstab me, will be the last war. So, uh, I'll just get everything prepared for that, and I'll be right back. There we go, I have taken the liberty of dropping a... Uh, well, rather strong army, 7,000 mercenaries on uh, the island. They're currently setting up sieges here. We're one sieges in Cordoba, Andalusia, and Leon, and uh, I would say we are we are one. I think so. And 
as our custom has actually become with these uh, wars against Spain, we <laughs> have so far just uh, managed with one loan, which would be hilarious. So the goal is, of course, Andalusia. I need that for myself. Uh, I'll take these two to and hand them over to Granada if I can, just for shits and giggles. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see here. We need to give Palermo to Aragon. And the funny thing is, if I actually take that myself, it's a little bit cheaper. But uh, it's actually a lot cheaper. But I don't want to infringe on, well, try and create a hell before necessary. So again, I think we'll go with this and probably just handing some, some things over to Naples. We will definitely get 100% uh, uh, PCSO. Lucania, not a Brussy, but Salento and Bari, I think. That should work. Yeah, we'll go with that. So this will be the PSD most likely, provided that we siege uh, most of Spain before the before the end of the war. And of course, if we siege this entire area, the war exhaustion is going to go to the roof rather rapidly, leading to them uh, saying yes, please uh, save us from this hell, if you will. So I'll just allow the sieges to continue. Um, I'm only really sure we'll actually do that ne next time, because I'm still running short here. My apologies. Uh, but we're going to leave it as is. As you can see here, we have uh, basically put ourselves in a very very good position now for our last uh, war, hopefully. So feel free to comment in the comments, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. Uh, I feel like we might have gone a little bit off track in the beginning by uh, going to the Mamluks, but we come back in force here and even if Spain is really lucky, you can still beat them. Even if France decides to be a pain in your ass, you can still beat them, so I guess all in all this was kind of, uh, kind of good. But I'll be nice enough to myself and not say that I've won just yet, so I'll see you next time. Feel free to come with any comments, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully I'll see you around next time. Bye.